I can just see clear now all the blues that will go on this piece. Repainting this stunning, stunning desk we worked on a few months ago and giving it a radical facelift now, so let's get into it! I sanded the whole piece with an 80 grit to smooth out that texture and just sanding with an 80 grit was enough for the next step which is applying a new texture. I prepared three different shades of blue combined with sea spray which is a texture additive. I added a few spoons of paint and sea spray as much as um, it will give me a kind of medium texture. I started to apply pure ocean by dabbing that texture, creating different patterns and give this piece lots of character. By the way guys, all the products used are listed in this tutorial description. Then I applied Peacock just below Pure Ocean and um, I took out our favorite blending best tank brush and I start dabbing the border between the two colors. I drag the peacock into pure ocean and then fading it out. I took back the chip brush and I carried on applying the peacock texture down to the last drawer. I mean half of the last drawer. I drag it down so much as when um, I will apply the next color, they will mix up creating different shades of blue, you will see. Wait and see. And now the amazing Bunker Hill Blue. The same as above, I applied it below Peacock with a new cheap brush. I kind of faded out the harsh line in between the two blues. And then I took another clean best tank brush and I start blending them, fading the um, Bunker Hill Blue into Peacock. Just dab, 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 blend, blend, blend until you are happy with it. When I finished with Bunker Hill Blue and I step back and look at the piece, I didn't really like how the pure ocean looks like in this situation, as I'd like this piece to be darker, so I decided to cover it with Peacock. But um, in the same time, leaving some pure ocean spots peeking through around the keyhole and the corners where a piece usually worns out, By the way, the interior of the desk was already painted with mermaid tail and sealed, so it stays the way it is. I sealed the whole piece with clear best and wax using circular motions to be super sure that this texture, beautiful finish gets sealed. I let it set for 15-20 minutes and then I just buff off the excess with a piece of cloth. And it's time for black wax. I apply the clear wax first to make the black wax um, to spread easily on this textured finish. I picked up some wax, wiped the brush on the lid and then I started to apply it on the corners first as there I want the wax to be more intense and then just diffuse it as I went to the middle of the piece.
the same, let it set for 15-20 minutes and then buffed it off with a piece of cloth. As this wax it's water based, you can actually paint over it. So first I put back the handles which were already painted with mermaid tail and then I created some drips underneath them with mermaid tail. <laughs> I wanted these drips to be pure teal, that's why I made the drips after I applied the black wax. I watered a bit the area under the handles, I applied the paint with an artist brush and then I just um, tapped with my fingers to fade away the harsh edges and this is it. Magic! I also did a little drip down the keyhole, of course, showing love to this little one too. As the handles had Cooper wax over already, I applied a bit uh, on the keyhole as well to match them. The Cooper is uh, looking absolutely mesmerizing in this rich blues and teal combination. I applied a um, layer of Best Mama's Bata in Orange Groove, which is an oil-based wax that protects the wood and smells heavenly. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this tutorial, it inspired you in any way or you want to see more of this kind of content. See you next time, bye!